Hello, this video is integration by parts continued. Normally when we look for integration by parts, we look for two things multiplied together inside the integral, but integration by parts can also be used to solve special cases such as natural log of x dx. So in solving this integral, we set our u equal to the natural log of x and dv equal to dx. So that when we, we can easily take the derivative of a natural log of x, so du becomes 1 over x dx, and dx is simply, well, dv, no, v is simply x. So now when we apply the formula, you get uv is x times the natural log of x minus the integral of v du, which is just x times 1 over x dx or 1 dx. So now when we integrate that, we integrate 1 dx, we simply get 1, and then we add plus c, and that is our final answer, the integral of the natural log of x. Okay, another type of problem that integration by parts can be used for is your arc function. So we're going to show you an example of an arc sine integral being solved using differentiation by parts. Integration by parts. Right? Yeah, integration by parts. So we use the same strategy that we use for the natural log of x. We set u equal to arc sine x, which is, by the way, the inverse sine, and then the dv, just dx. So now we have to remember what the um, derivative of arc sine is, which is 1 over x squared plus 1, and then v will simply equal x. Now when we apply the formula, we get x arc sine x from uv minus the integral of x over x squared plus 1 dx. By the way, there's a dx there. And that's for multiplying du and v. And notice that we can use the reverse chain rule to solve this integral. We don't have to do integration by parts again. And um, you can do that by setting u equal to x squared plus 1. Then we have du equals 2x dx, so that x dx equals 1 half du. And then when we substitute u in for this integral, we still have the, arc, the x arc sine x out in front. Now we have 1 half times 1 over u du, which becomes x arc sine x minus 1 half times the natural log of the absolute value of u plus c. Now to put this back in terms of x, we still have the x arc sine x out in front. Now we substitute back in the x squared plus 1 and get x arc sine x minus 1 half natural log the absolute value of x squared plus 1 plus c. All right, so that's how you do an arc sine problem. And you might be wondering, a note, like where we got this. This you either have to memorize or it should be in the front of your calculus book. So, well, thank you for watching and have a great day.